All right, it's Derek MTG Lounge, and I'm gonna open up a box of baseball cards I got. It's an old box from when I was younger. It's 91 Upper Deck. It's the Low Series. Um, it's got the Nolan Ryan Heroes cards in it. And it's got a Chipper Jones rookie in it, and there's a special Michael Jordan card in a baseball uniform with the White Sox. It's actually before he actually did try baseball. It's pretty decent, but they're not extremely valuable, but it's just fun to go back when I was a kid and open up some cards. 36 packs. Looks like 15 cards a pack. You get a hologram. So, let's see what we got. This is what they look like. If you don't, haven't already seen them. Chuck Knobloch. Um, there's the hologram. It's just to the teams. And our top prospect is Pat Kelly. One time, I got two of the same. It's Greg Gagne. You no, know, Gary Gaetti. Uh, one time, Pat Kelly was a good prospect. They're all upside down and everything, so. Got two Scott Leyes in that. Getting two of the same cards in each pack. Weird. Carlton Fisk. Another Sandy Alomar Jr. John Olerud. And Ramon Martinez. Mm -hmm. I haven't really seen much yet. Another John Oleru. There's Ozzy Canseco. It's Jose's twin brother. And there's Jose right there in the picture. Uh, he didn't stick around as long. And there's a Matt Williams. These are just a team checklist for each team. Matt Williams coached the Nationals this past year, but we got rid of him. Alex Fernandez, he was worth something at one point. Eric Anthony was a big prospect at that time. Another Ozzy Canseco. All the team checklists, not getting, got one prospect and no star rookies yet. There's Juan Gonzalez. He was a very big player for a while. There's one of the heroes cards you can get. No one run when he was with the Mets. 1968 victory number one. Ron Gant, that was my friend, childhood friend's favorite player. Harold Reynolds, he was on ESPN for a while. The 
Ooh. Jack Morse. Kevin Mitchell, former MVP. Another Chuck Knobloch. What's that, the third one? Lots of duplicates. I guess you have to buy a lot to build sets. Larry Walker. Kevin Brown. Dave Justice. There's Frank Thomas. Just went in the Hall of Fame recently. And Cecil Fielder. Uh, it's commemorating when he hit 51 home runs that year, which at the time was a lot before everybody got on the steroids and started hitting them like crazy. Rick Sutcliffe, he calls games. Daryl Strawberry, that's when he joined the Dodgers. Well, that's one section. Let's get another one here. Maybe we'll start hitting some prospects and rookies. Get that Chipper Jones. The Heroes, 1979, back home. There's a star rookie, Steve Decker. And, ooh. Another Steve Decker and Mike Lieberthal. For the Phillies. He had an okay run. Decent player, nothing great. But... Oh. Got Kevin Belcher. There's a Mark Grace. And you can start to see a pattern. We got Kurt Miller and we got another Kevin Belcher, so. Older cards did this with their packaging. It was patterns, all kinds of them. Scott Erickson, at a time that was a very card in high demand there. I remember chasing it as a kid. So we got a star rookie of Jeff Conine. He was a good player. Oh, we'll probably get another one. And the Chris Sabo. Yep, there it is. And our prospect is Dan Peltier. Nolan Ryan, 73, a career year. This is just a checklist, 301 to 400. They're throughout the set. Juan Martinez again. Prospect Greg Blosser of the Red Sox. Each team had a top prospect card in the set. I'll keep sticking them over there. Let's 
card here is commemorating Ricky Henderson passing Lou Brock on the all-time steals list. Oral Hershiser calls games now. Bunch of commons in here, that's for sure. Reggie Sanders prospect. He turned out all right. Big power hitter for several years. Vince Coleman, 73 career year again. Robin Yell. Deion Sanders, when he was playing baseball. Played for the Yankees and the Braves. Better football player than he was. He was one of them Bo Jackson deals where he played for both teams. Or both teams, both leagues at the same time. And prospect is Brent Main of the Royals. I think they're actually the prospects are even. We got the Yankees off, and then we got Phillies, Pirates. Rangers, Red Sox, Reds, and Royals. If you can tell, they're going in alphabetical order by team. And their numbers are like this. And then we got a random 76. So next will be 73. And you can just start to see the pattern. Be 73, 74, 75 in these packs. See, there's 73. Rico Bronia of the Tigers. Nolan Ryan. Barry Larkin. that Jordan never hit it in a pack Don Mattingly and Willie Banks of the Twins number 74 So this one should be 75. I guess the White Sox maybe? Yeah. Then Brucher. Mickey Hatcher and his enormous glove in that picture. Kurt Schilling. Cal Ripken Jr. And Chipper Jones plays with the Braves, obviously, so we're at the end. That's the end of the second stack. Go for oh stack number three. See where these teams leave off. Packs are made of foil, too. 
Super Deck was considered a higher brand at the time of cards back then. Will Clark. Star rookie Mike Gardner and oh, it's the Brewers. It's like right after the Braves, probably. Close to it, anyway. Maybe they'll go the opposite direction. Ben McDonald. Some of these people probably just, this was their only card they ever had. It's a six, it's a 700 card set, so. Yeah, we're going the other way. There's the Cardinals, 57. And Greg Colburn. Dale Murphy. Mark McGuire. Bernard Gilkey and Gary Scott. Sorry about the amount of time these cards are all upside down and everything, so taking a little longer. That's the third no one around hero that I got of that one. Edgar Martinez. John Smoltz. Using these to do this in upper deck. It's the Fernando Valenzuela 3X. A little triple shot. At the time, it was pretty cool. Kind of ridiculous. Mark Lewis and Kiki Jones of the Dodgers. Jerome Walton, former Rookie of the Year, and then didn't do too much after that. Sammy Sosa, when he was skinny. This was before he was hitting home runs like crazy. He had had 15 home runs in 1990. This was the beginning of his career, though. His rookie is 1990. Gary Carter, Dave Stewart. Uh, Mickey Morandini, and Wilfredo Cordero. The Expos, which became the Nationals. Mm. Bob Boone. It's Brett Boone and Aaron Boone's dad. Gary Sheffield. Charles Nagy and Royce Clayton. Hmm. Here's the Nolan Ryan header. Uh, it doesn't have a number, and it just shows a checklist of all the cards that are in the Baseball Heroes set. Uh, these are usually worth a little more than the others. Who 
Geronimo Pena and Tim Costo. Be disappointing if I at least don't get a Chipper Jones. Berto Alomar. Henry Rodriguez and Roger Salkel. Salkel. Mike Messina's rookie is also in this as a top prospect. It's worth a couple dollars. Scott Cooper, Brooke Fordyce. Of the Mets. Let's get all these out of the way. One more stack. So, let's see what the top one has for us. That Jordan. Marie Vaughn, Mo Vaughn was a good player. Greg Maddox, Leo Gomez, star rookie. Back to getting the team checklists, which are not as cool as the prospect cards. Oh man, there it is. I finally hit it. There he is in the White Sox uniform. See, it's numbered SP1. It's a short print. I can't remember exactly. One in every box or one in every two boxes. Probably every couple, I would say. But Dang. Well, that makes me feel better, considering I'm not feeling too confident about the Chipper Jones. All these years, and I finally hit one. It's about time. Scott Aldred, star rookie. Mm -hmm. Ozzy Smith. Tony Gwynn, Scott Cool, oh no, Scott Camp Camperino, Checklist 100. Ooh, it's Angels. That's good. Because we got Astros, Athletics. We might actually get to him. He might be in the very last pack. Uh, 
1981 all-time leader. Lance Dixon and Kyle Abbott of the Angels. So this should be the Astros. Well, Jeff Juden and Sean Berry of the Royals. It's the team 1917 revisited. Paul Molitor, Leo Franco, and this one should be the Athletics. and still counting. Joe Carter. Bernie Williams. Todd Van Poppel. This was a very big card at the time. He was going to be the number one pick, but he wanted a lot of money, and he threatened to go to college, and he slipped all the way down to number 14 to the athletics for that reason. They went ahead and took him and his career didn't end up turning out too great. It lasted but never the potential that, with all the hype that was around him. Roger Clemens. Another 79 back home. Heroes card. Travis Fryman. Meyer Brown Barnes and Steve Carsey of the Blue Jays. So, next should be the Braves and it should be Chipper Jones, who was the number one pick that year. And there it is. And Narciso Elvira. There it is. Last pack. How good is that? Chipper Jones. The Bashing Years. Mark McGuire. Ricky Henderson, 3X. Dwight Gooden, Frank Viola, oh, there it is, bunch of holograms, got my Chipper Jones, I didn't get the Mike Messina, but that's alright, because I finally hit the Michael Jordan, didn't pay very much for the box at all, just like taking a trip down memory lane, opening some old cards when I was a kid that at the time were hard for me to get, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, do a lot of that kind of stuff. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know. Bye.